we're at uh, Globe, Arizona with Bob Barty and his 701 doing a pre-thorough flight uh, inspection. He's got the 912 IS engine, or 912 S engine, which is 100 horse, not the fuel injection. Yesterday we went thoroughly through a, out the complete airplane. First thing I noticed was the main landing gear was very loose. You could, uh, when you were taxiing it, you could touch the brakes and uh, the gear would rotate. So what we've done is we've tightened up the nuts on the gear plate, which taken up the slack on the gear. One way to check is you put your foot on the tire, hand on the strut, and see if you can rock that gear. Now it seems like it's pretty pretty snug now, so we're in good shape. He has four tanks, two inboards and two outboards. He's planning on flying to Alaska this summer where he's worked for many years up in Nome, Alaska. He has the landing light option. I don't think you guys can see it just because of the sun and the black uh, slat. We checked all the controls, checked for lubrication, and we did lubricate everything, which uh, loosened up every, all the control fittings, bushings, stick, elevator. You want to make sure you check the aileron quick disconnect, make sure it's properly secured. Yes, it is. Um, the rudder cables were a little bit loose, so what Bob did this morning is we undid the turnbuckles, unsafety wired them, and tighten up each turnbuckle about three turns to give a little bit more tension on the cables. Check for cotter pins in your elevator. You got, he, he has the ele our elevator trim as an option, which I strongly recommend if you go with the heavier engine than like the 582, which everybody's going with the 912 or the UL Power. Check your cables, make sure you're safety wired and cotter pin. Can you say hi, Bob? Hello. Are you excited? Yes, I am. I have <laughs> Roger out here to check this over for me. He's found a lot of things I didn't have quite right. Well, so. hopefully it'll be a fun and exciting day. Looking forward to it. Next, we'll look at the controls underneath the, the belly pan. We had the controls panel off, checked all the wiring, cable tension, Make sure the nuts were properly torqued. Back here he has the, all the remote, comm remote, transponder remote, and ADSB. Down below, he's got the quick drains for the inboard and outboard tank. And then he has an uh, outside temperature probe. We'll check the gear side on this side too to make sure it's not loose. Put your foot on the wheel, hand on the strut, and then just try to rock it. Looks good. On the bubble doors, he uh, decided to put the gas strut for opening and closing, which is really a nice little option. He put the center latch system that the 750 stole has in his doors, so he has a latch in the center which is not an issue in the 701, but it'll close a little bit more tighter so you don't have the cool air coming in in the winter time. We had the engine cowling off yesterday when it was raining and snowing here. and We didn't have much light in the hangar, so I didn't video it. But we went through the whole engine compartment, checked for leaks, uh, closeness on the, all the hoses and oil lines, making sure there won't be any rubbing or heating. Found everything quite well. He's uh, supporting a warp drive prop, three blade ground adjustable. Let's go see what he has in the cabin area. He has a seven inch Dynon sky view, which has been very, very popular. Very easy to update, change, change different functions, 
very easy. The Garmin 795, which is a GPS, which he has a GPS in the Dynon too. But you, you know, going to Alaska, it's nice to have two GPSs. PS Com radio, and then he's got the composite design switch panel circuit breaker. If you notice how much room he has in the cockpit, because he's actually moved the rudder pedals forward a little bit versus our 701 at the factory and it's a little closer to the pilot so you could actually probably have a 6364 you know pilot in the 701 and be very comfortable check the controls nice and smooth got the flap lever down there fuel valves on the other side Alright, so what we're going to do now is probably take it outside and do some run-ups, some taxi tests, and uh, if all goes well, we might try to get it up in the air today.